So guys, I had a major setback and I had to cut my hair. Here's how relaxed the day went. Welcome back to my channel guys. So it is relaxer day. It's time for relaxer. It has been about three months since I got my last relaxer and there's a lot of new growth. And also guys, there's a lot of growth but my ends had gone through it because in this stretch something's happened which I will explain further in the video. But as you can see my hair grew pretty pretty long and I'm just twisting it away now so I can kind of create sections. Um, so yeah, it's easier to work that way. I'm just adding a little petroleum jelly around the edges because you know why I do <laughs> I add petroleum jelly around and then I go ahead to apply relaxer around the parameters of the hair first those tend to be the thickest parts so I add it around the perimeter and then I take small sections and I apply at the top and bottom so I part out a section I apply the cream on top of the hair and above the other one so it is top and bottom of each part so that's pretty much what i'm doing right through this guys um you just want to apply the relaxer onto the new growth you do not want to extend past the new growth because you don't want to have relaxer overlap and then that can cause damage or breakage to the already relaxed ends so you don't want to over process it here so ensure that you're doing it and pulling the relaxer onto only the new growth guys i know it appears that i'm raking it through but that's not the reality i'm just kind of combing through the hair i'm not pasting it onto my scalp so you will know how to basically gauge this do not apply it directly onto your scalp when you're combing just rake it through the hair itself this step you can really skip because some persons don't rake it at all if you want to leave more texture but i want to leave texture but i still want my hair to be sleek enough so i do a little bit of raking through when i'm applying the relaxer so guys i've done applying the relaxer and i'm just showing you in the back <laughs> there's a bit of a spillage right there guys but that's how it happens when you don't really have any help guys so you can see how long my hair got guys and i'm so so mad i know you guys are gonna be so mad at me to realize what i did after this but you know it's just how life is i'm doing my little dance that i got through so guys here you are seeing my ends and you can see that this is i already had cut some so this is the remaining of what was left because my hair was down to almost my nipples and guys it was a mess so i wanted to show you guys how choppy it was like oh my god guys i did a little style and Mm, i'll explain guys i promise i'll explain look how bad my ends are but to be honest guys i'm not mad i wasn't mad because i really wanted to cut it anyways because i really don't have time to maintain long here at this point so guys that is the best cut that i can get so far i had my mom help me a little bit to kind of straighten things up a bit it's not perfect but what i did i kind of just sweep to get rid of the split ends it wasn't more of evening it up but more of getting rid of the split ends so it wasn't an even cut it's more like just dusting the split ends so it's a bit choppy i know but you know it will be a gradual thing i will gradually go through and you know clean up those ends i'm using this hair growth oil that i got from ivy's hair care she's a small business owner on instagram and i just use that i love it it has castor oil in it as well but it doesn't weigh the hair down and my hair loves how it feels it's moisturizing so guys if you want to go ahead you can check her out and guys i'm gonna do a bit of a flat ironing today look what i did and i pop in some curls i got a new flat iron and the curls are just curls, popping yeah. guys this is my first time getting a little curls from my flat iron because it's a new one my other one was busted <laughs> so guys i just did the curls so that it has a a little bit of more volume after i wrap it up because basically what i'm doing after this is i'm going to comb through and once i comb through i'm going to wrap it up and i'm gonna go to sleep and i'm gonna wake up tomorrow and i'm gonna show you the aftermath of it all how my ear ends looks after all of that and yeah and guys don't be like me okay because when you have when you have hair that um with the ends are going through some trauma you don't want to wear a white shirt because that makes everything look worse but guys after cleaning up and dusting off and everything this was the final final outcome Hi guys! 
so I'm dropping by just guys to give you an update on, on, on how we turned out after the cut, where my hair is and all of that. So guys. Guys, I got a relaxer. I showed you guys the kind of the process of what I did. Um, I think this relaxer turned out so good. It left a little texture in my hair, and my hair is flowing worse. I got a trim, so my hair is flowing. It's looking nice, um, shorter, much much shorter, because my hair was almost down to my nipples. However, I did. Uh, I did. I'm gonna put a picture here of what I did. It's a soft lock. And I did a new method um, normally I would have my hair part in squares I would have twisted up and then I will tuck them into each other I'm gonna kind of see if I can find a picture of what I did but then I realized there was a wrapping method so while I was doing it myself at first and while I was doing it I realized I'm gonna I'm like oh damn this is gonna impact on my hair because I realized that the texture of the soft locks was very rough and I have naturally fine hair, even though my hair have gotten much, much thicker and all of that. My strands are very thin and they're very fine. So I know that that very coarse hair wrapping my hair, um, that coarse hair around my hair would have caused some issue. Plus the lock itself is a coarser hair type. Yeah, because we know what locks are. So I basically knew that i'm gonna have to pay for my actions because i grew my hair i was protected styling all this time and my hair grew so so long and i was excited to show you guys the progress and then i just decided to do that because i wanted to just put my hair up um someone sponsored the hair and i like the hairstyle and i wanted to put my hair away for a little longer so i was like why not do it but i was already in the process of doing it when i realized that you know this might impact on my hair but i still do it anyway because to, guys being on a hair journey is about fun and you still have to take risk and sometimes you pay for the risk but it was good while it lasted you know what i mean um they, they always say style bring pain so yeah it messed up a lot of my ends especially around the front and to be honest i wasn't mad because as you guys know i'm focusing more i know how to grow my hair um, the length is not a big of an issue. Um, I'm just wanting my hair to be healthy. I'm not running down the length or anything like that. Plus, I love my hair at this length or even shorter. My hair naturally grows like a bob. So, do, so my hair being at this length to me fits me the best. So I'm not really um, mad at cutting my hair to this length. Plus, every time I cut my hair, I feel renewed, I feel refreshed, I feel like I'm starting over on a clean slate and all of that. Um, of course, there are issues here and there. Because um, while I was taking it out now, I realized that some of my hair got tangled around the lock. It got locked into the lock and I didn't even have it in that long. But I, but it goes back to the fact that my hair is fine. It's the coarse hair was wrapped around my hair. And basically, it kind of does, the strands are kind of intertwined and... You know how that works so i was at a point that i had to either cut some parts or i had to just snag some parts yeah for a relaxed year journey i know you guys are cringing hell a lot <laughs> but yeah i had to do that i knew what was gonna come so when i did the relaxer it was really long as you can see when i was installing it, it was super super long but the ends were messed up pretty bad um, I managed to get off the most that can be taken off because probably about three inches because it was struggly, it was strawny, it was some parts were good, some parts were not. Yeah, messy. So I pretty much um, just cut off what was there. It wasn't hard for me. I cut my hair all the time. It didn't it wasn't daunting on me. I'm I'm more for health this year than length. As I said, you guys see me cut my hair up to here last year and I ended up down here by the end of the year at like armpit length, little bit above armpit length. So grow my hair is never an issue for me. My issue um is maintaining the ends and um and, and wanting to improve on the health of my hair um, this year my hair has definitely been at its healthiest thankfully um, I have not been doing much 
and that is that is why I tell you guys they don't ask to ask me for a regimen and whatever find a regimen that works for you guys and once it works for you continue doing it don't buy a lot of expensive products it doesn't work you'll find that the way how you treat your hair regardless of what you use in your hair would already be 90% of all you need to do right and then when you find the products uh shampoo a conditioner a deep conditioner the oils the protein treatment and the styling tools once you find one of each of those things that works for you stick to it then the regime what you do how you wash your hair how you detangle it and all of that is the most important part so don't spend a lot of money as i always say buying other products and this is my journey and it's up and down this is not me telling you oh my god and i don't want you guys when I, you see like youtubers like me like we cut our hair you're like oh my god but she's she's been here and she cut it and all of that like it's our journey this is sasha's journal and life happens we don't always have time to film and we don't always have time to keep up with a regime i know i don't have i'm a mom i have two jobs i have more than two jobs i have a business i have two businesses and i have a job and I do other things so this year the regime was non-existent it was just me not touching my hair that is what grew my hair to where it was and then you know that protective style wasn't at all as protective um, because it all goes back down to understanding that with protective styling is like a secondary step because you still have the protective style you're here when you're in protective styling and i was too overwhelmed i was kind of mad that i had to do it myself and i just started to do it and it was like in the night about 9 p.m and i had to do it before the day so i wasn't at that point i just decided whatever whatever happens happens because it has to be done and i had no choice at that point my hair was already grown out about two months so it's like i was just you know i was just I made a decision and I know what the repercussions were and I just did it and I know I had to come my hair and I'm starting the journey again and you have to understand that you can't take it that serious um the health of a hair is most important than the length of a hair and persons like me comfortable I'm comfortable at this length I'm always comfortable at this length I like how my hair looks at this length so I don't have a problem cutting it um but um I know you guys would have want to see how it progresses in terms of length and all of that but on this channel we're just talking about the journey the journey of the ups and downs as you know guys i don't come with everything peaches and cream here i give you everything as it relates to good the bad the ugly i come with strongly struggling ends and i say guys this is how my hair looks immediately after that and then there are still persons who comment and say oh my god i hope that you cut those ends and i hope that um your ends look a mess or this do that and this do that and i've already mentioned that guys i'm not gonna come here with my hair after i cut it normally you guys know what i do once i do i relax i come here with an update and my update will feature my struggling ends and even if i cut the ends afterwards that will be in a further video but i'm gonna show you the ugly i'm gonna show you that even after three months you're gonna have a little problems when you relax your hair you're gonna need some trimming and i normally just show you guys where it is and what amount of work i'm gonna have to do um plus guys i didn't have proper shears and i didn't want to come here and use certain type of scissors and then you guys are like mm, what kind of scissors were you using that scissors because per people can be so very critical and i think we i had made it clear that um li listen this is a channel this is my journal this is me just documenting a part of my life to you guys it's not gonna be perfect this, i'm not a professional in any way shape or form these are just things that i do in my daily life and i'm sharing with you guys but of course there are still some persons who are very critical and for most times i just you know just let it slide and it doesn't bother me but um just to point out guys like my ideal here is not to be a perfect person and and to have a perfect journey my ideal here is to journal and document my life and the, my experiences so if my experience means that today i have to cut my hair because i used something i did damage my hair i'm gonna show you the damage here <laughs> you know and i'm gonna cut it and we're gonna start again because it is what 
the channel is about it's not about um perfect here i have oh i have perfect here and i do have, have a perfect regime and things that i'm gonna my hair is gonna always be growing 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 and there's not gonna be any mistake so that's not the ideal the ideal is that i'm gonna show you exactly what happens in a relaxed journey and for you to and, and you know guys i saw someone who commented on my my um my video and said oh my god you made me not want to relax my hair because it's so much and it's it's an old old video guys i'm gonna link it right here because it's a really good video that I was talking about regime and all of that and when i read it i laughed because i'm like you have not seen nothing yet <laughs> regarding that everybody who is on a relaxer journey knows that is hard work it's very hard tiring work and you will reach the point you will reach your milestone and in a snip just a little product just a little not covering it here at night just a little use of a scrunchie that has elastic bands and the, your your entire work is gone it's here and it's life and just like life is unpredictable so let us not just take it as serious let us just enjoy the journey and it's fun as i'm enjoying my new length and i haven't been this short in probably a year because it was about a year that i cut my hair shorter than this um but by the end of the year my hair will grow back down to armpit length or lower down to the breast so i'm not mad at it i'm just enjoying where it is currently now um i i'm still here guys i still see the comments i still see the love guys i still have subscribers coming in and that is why i know that i have offered valuable content because you guys are still here you're still rocking with me i still see the comments i still see things happening i'm like wow i must have created a good impression because people are still loving me and people are still rooting for me and people are still subscribing to the channel so i have to thank you guys for that um the aim is that i want to post more and all of that but um part of the youtube journey is becoming too jobby for me and the whole ideal of my uh, even though the fact that it's my job and i still get paid from youtube i wanted i want to use youtube as a space where i can have fun so i'm gonna do things that i'm happy about i'm gonna do I'm gonna have fun doing it and if i feel like it's not becoming fun i'm gonna take a break um i know that some of you guys might feel sad about that but you know as youtubers we have to keep our sanity and we have to work with a lot of negativity and all of that i don't have i don't get a lot of negativity to be honest but um sometimes you have to get a detox and i hope you guys understand but whenever i have content that i know that you guys will love i'm putting that out and i'm gonna do more lifestyle content too how are you guys i'd love to know how, you, how are you guys um down in the comments below comment down below and let me know how it has been if you have missed me and what content that that you would like me to put out like going forward so thank Thank you guys for the stay tuned go ahead oops go ahead and watch the video that i did this beautiful beautiful makeup look it will be posted either before or after this one one of them thank you again thank you for still being loyal supporters thank you for riding it all with a girl i know it has been a rough journey especially from my side and all of that but i love you guys and thank you all for the support and i'll see you next time Ta -da!